Hi, Org Menards family, it's Macram. Uh, I'm coming to you from my bedroom. Um, and I, I wanted to share with you a little bit of the process of playwriting at the very early stage. So if you're thinking of writing a play, if you're thinking of taking this time, maybe you just start planting and exploring a seed. Um, this is where I'm at. I'm currently writing a new play. Uh, and this is what the process, the early, early stages of the process looks like. So very early in the process, I started writing sticky notes and placing them based on research, different research. And then I have all of these here where I have um, seed, scenes that are just seeds of scenes, ideas that I know need to uh, be placed in the script. And then these are ones that I have already written, scenes that have come to me and I've already typed them up. Another technique that I love to use is association um, maps. So just kind of blitzing off of two characters and seeing their relationship. And then if you took my acting course, you remember super objective obstacle, you start using those techniques of acting right into the playwriting process itself. And you create dynamic characters that have necessary needs. I sometimes draw different things to map it out geographically. And then eventually um, what happens is that I make a timeline, a chronological timeline of what is happening to the characters. Finally, from all of that, I try to create an outline of what the play might be. From the outline, then you go to the computer or however you write. Um, I like to write on the computer. And you create a document that's gonna become the script. I like to give the title a bit of color, a bit of something to keep me in the spirit of the world. And even though it looks like uh, complete, I try not to be too precious about it. I write a scene and then I keep writing and keep exploring and then eventually I get to a point, you'll see here, where I start throwing in the outline and it keeps evolving and adapting as I go throughout. Some of the highlighted parts are necessary. Then there's all kinds of scenes that have been written that will probably not make it to the final draft. A, a crucial part in all of this is to just get something written, to get something on the computer, to get something on paper, because without a scene, you have nothing to revise, you have nothing to work backwards from. Um, it's just a web of ideas in your mind. And so it, even if you write something and you're like, this is not, I don't think this is the direction I wanna go, that's okay. Just write it and keep writing and try to get a draft of the script. And then from there, you're able to revise and revise and revise. Um, I think I read many, many times that writing is actually rewriting, and so that, that, that statement feels like it can't be more true in my experience of playwriting. Um, the important thing is to not get in your own way. That critical judge that, that sits there and tells you this is terrible writing, this is a bad idea, this is wrong, this, no one's gonna like this, no one's gonna read this. You tell them to sit, sit aside, you're trying to get something done, you get it done, and then you invite a, a reasonable judge to come back and look through your draft and revise it appropriately. Um, that that the, the harsh critic is not our friend, but the but the reasonable judge is certainly our friend. And and the reasonable judge comes in at an appropriate time. You don't want them there the entire time when, especially when you're initially initially creating. You get to a point with your script where you're ready to share it with some trusted people and really consider who those people are and share the script with them in order to get meaningful feedback and always go into those sessions very intentional and very um, clear on what kind of feedback you want to ask, you know, um, did the surprise at the end catch you off guard? To the reader that might be a very specific question that you might want to ask the important part about this process is that it's very fluid it's very flexible it's very non-committal and so even by the time i've gotten the outline drafted i'm not committed to following it in this way it just gives me some sort of lighthouse to which i move towards but generally you start writing and let it flower out however it needs to go and you create new discoveries in the actual writing process itself I hope you're keeping safe and healthy. Take care.